Jerry of the Circus. for Jerry of the Circus. Oh! Buen muchacho! Ay, el mundo, mi amigo. Oh, Miss Carmen, <laughs> Miss Carmen, what on earth are you doing? Hello there, Major. Do you like my friend? Yes. Well, uh, I hardly know what to say. How did you get way up on his head? Where's Olsen? He had to work. You mean to say you play alone with this great big elephant? Of course. He's so gentle, el mundo. And I am so glad to see him. Well, come down. Come down on the ground. <laughs> Oh, something may happen to you. Now, look how that beast throws his trunk about. No, oh. oh, listen to him. He sounds as if he were getting mad. Oh, no, no, no. He's good friend. Un momento, El Mundo. Ah, you see how he put up his trunk so that I may step down? Oh. There. Oh. And now I go, but I shall come back. Poor thing. He does not understand, but I shall teach him English. Uh. Miss Carmen, could you, would you... What is it, Major? Well, I was just wondering if you could, well, would you take a walk with me? Well... Uh, we I... might go out for lunch. Uh, would that be asking too much? Oh, no, of course not, Major. But you see, well, my brothers, I must rehearse with them. So, if you will excuse me, my good friend, I must leave you. And El Mundo, too. Olsen, he will come back. You stay here till El Mundo is taken care of, yes? Well, why, of course, Miss Carmen. Anything for you. Anything. Oh, gracias, senor. I go. Goodbye, sweet lady. Uh, El Mundo. She leaves us. And you love her so, too. Oh. How tragic to feel so strongly. And not to have that love return. But she called us her good friend. We can always remember that, can't we? Oh. Not so loud. She'll think something is wrong. We don't want to worry her. Carmen. Carmen. What a lovely name. Hey. Hello there, Major. Oh. Oh, so, so it's Jerry. Well, young man, you quite startled me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Say, I'm looking for Carmen. You haven't seen her, have you? She has just left. She's gone to rehearse with her brothers. Oh, thanks. Then they'll be in the big top. She said she and her brothers have been having some kind of trouble. Carmen has been getting threatening notes. Not signed. Someone is threatening to kill her. No. Kill that sweet creature? Uh-huh. Once they even threatened to put acid on the wire, which would surely kill all three of them. That's why they check it over before each performance. Oh, how awful. Who could be so cruel? Well, I don't know, but I think I've got a clue. That's what I want to see her about. You have a clue? Tell me, young man, perhaps maybe I could help. Well, well, all right, I'll tell you. But promise you won't do anything until we're real sure. Yes, yes, of course I promise. Out with it, young man. Well, it's like this. We were out here this morning with Olsen and the new elephant when Rags came running up with a piece of paper in his mouth. Yes, but what has that to do with... Then, when I took it from him, I saw there had been some candy in it because there were some crumbs left. Hey, go on, go on. Well, Tom and I went back with Rags to see who had given him the candy. And sure enough, we found a piece of candy, oh, and then... This seems to be quite beside the point. Well, no, it isn't. Because suddenly we saw that that piece of paper was the same kind of paper that the notes to Carmen had been written on. Oh, 
Was there something strange about it? Oh, here it is. Mm. See how thin it is. It's rice paper. Who gave Rags the candy? Well, that's what's worrying me. You see, Rags led us to the bearded lady's wagon. The bearded lady? Huh. That pest... She wasn't there, so I don't know if she gave him the candy, but... Mm, probably... She probably did. The amount of candy that woman consumes is a sin. But, Major, this is what I can't figure out. How could she happen to have the same kind of paper that those notes were written on? Of course, we're not sure she gave Rags the candy. No, but she's a meddling, lovesick woman. And I wouldn't put it beyond her to do just such a silly thing. Well, I hate to say anything to the Bendinis until I'm sure it. At least sure she gave Rags the candy. You know how fiery those brothers can get when they're mad. Well, I've heard they can, despite the fact that they always seem so gay and carefree. I'd hate to have them go to the bearded lady if she really hasn't had anything to do with all this. <laughs> I don't think... I think you come just to the right person, Jerry. Now, I'll tell you what I'll do. What? Well, I'll go to her wagon and look around inside while she's gone and see if she has any more paper like this. Oh, well, I thought of that, but I was scared. Well, I guess I can look through her things. After the way she took my watch and caused me all that trouble. Yeah, I remember. And then if I find she's got more paper like this, we'll make her explain about giving Rags the candy. If she confesses about that, we'll next ask her about those threatening notes. Sounds easy enough. Oh, handling temperamental women is never easy. Of course. Well, after all, I want Miss Carmen to realize that I'm a man she can depend on. Oh, of course. Well, after I find out about the notes, I guess she'll appreciate the kind of stuff I'm made of. I'm sure she will. Here, give me that paper. Well, don't lose it. No, I won't. And I'll be right back. I hope. Okay. Well, El Mundo, did you hear all that? Gee, I forgot. You can't understand. I got something you'll understand, though. Here, here's some peanuts. Oh. <clears throat> That's the ticket. Here, take some. There you are. So you're eating at last, huh? Golly, Olson will sure be glad to hear that. Hey, what you doing with my new elephant? Olson. Gee, I didn't notice you. Hey, look, he's eating. Uh, I'll say he is. I kind of thought he would. You did? Sure. After seeing Carmen and finding out what's wrong, uh, he'll be all right from now on, but I won't be. What do you mean? Has something happened? No, but it's going to. Just look at all the trouble I'm going to have to learn Spanish. <laughs> Gee, that's true. Uh, you won't be able to work, El Mundo, until you learn the right commands. And I never could learn any language, even English. Oh, it won't be so bad. Hey, I'll tell you what. Yeah? I'll learn the commands, too. So if you get stuck sometime, you can just call on me. <laughs> I may take you up on that, Jerry. Honest? Sure thing. Say, I got an idea. Yeah, what? Well, look, if I learn some Spanish, yeah? well... Couldn't I learn to work El Mundo? Well, I don't know about that, Jerry. Well, who's going to work him in the ring? Well, I don't know yet. We haven't discussed it with Mr. Randall. Of course, the trainer will handle all the commands, but probably we'll use one of the pretty girls to do the stunt with El Mundo. Oh, gee. I wish I could. Golly, I'd work like 60. Yeah, I bet you'd be good, too, Jerry. Well, can I then? Well, I don't know, Jerry. I, I don't have the say about such things like that. If Mr. Randall let me... Who's the boss? Boy, I'm in for his wagon. See if he'd only let me. Well, I'd be in the show regular Don't then. Don't count on it too much, Jerry. Well, I won't, but you can bet I'll try. Mm. Uh, bye. I I'll be back and let you know what he says. <laughs> Good luck. Well, thanks. Oh, gee, if I only could. Where do you go so fast, huh? Oh, hello, Carmen. Say, I just got the swellest idea. Yes? And what is it? I I'm going to ask Mr. Randall if he'll let me work with El Mundo. No. Sure. The kind of things you used to do with him when you were little. Oh, how nice, Jerry. Of course, I don't know yet whether he'll let me, but maybe you could show me some of the same tricks you used to do. Ah, I like that very much. Very, very much. Do you want to be fun? Just like the old days. Oh, say, Jerry. Yeah? Here come the Major. I don't want him to see me. So soon? I go this way. He not notice me. Goodbye. Okay. Now I wonder how the Major got through so soon. Oh, hi, Major. Oh, there you are, Jerry. Well, I had a bit of luck. You have? What happened? Well, I had scarcely left you when who should I see but our friend, the bearded lady. No. Yes, sirree. So I ups and says to her, I says, did you give Rags some candy this morning? What'd she say? Well, she kind of hemmed and hawed a bit, but when I showed her the paper it was wrapped up in, she admitted she did. She said she didn't think it would hurt him any. Say, what about the paper? Not so fast, young man. Then I began quizzing her about that unusual paper. And what it was made of and all that. Yeah. And she began bragging about it. She got it when she was abroad someplace, some foreign country. It's very special paper. 
And this piece got mussed up, so she just put the candy in it. Hmm. Sure looks suspicious. Mm-hmm. But honest, Major, I, I can't believe she'd do a thing like that. Well, why not? Well, why should she have anything against Carmen? It's simple enough when you understand the ways of women. You see... I've been showering attentions on that lovely little Spanish lady. Yes, but... Uh, jealousy, my boy, jealousy. Mm. See, if she thought that she would make me ridiculous, you know, she'd go to any lengths. Well, what do we do next, Major? Go to any lengths. Ha! Huh. So that's it. What? So, she decided to make that bouquet for Carmen. What bouquet? That one with all the vegetables in it. The one that Tom presented to her at dinner in the mess tent. Oh, no, the bearded lady didn't have anything to do with that. Oh, bah, don't tell me. Huh. Here comes Mr. Randall. I'm too mad to talk to him. I'll go and plot my revenge. But remember, not a word of this to anyone. You understand? Yeah, but... Well, me, hey, hey, don't go. I, I, I gotta explain. Oh, oh, hello there, Jerry. <laughs> You having trouble with the major? <laughs> no, only... Well, he gets so excited, he, he won't listen. He thinks... Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> well, don't let him get in your hair, son. He means well, but, you know, after all, he's, he's pretty peppery. Yeah. Say, Mr. Randall. Yeah? You know about that new elephant? About Carmen knowing him and all? Yeah, yeah sure, sure. I know all about that. Well, you're going to have him work in the ring, aren't you? Well, yeah, sure. And, you know, Carmen used to work with him. Yeah? yeah. Well, well, what well, a... Come on, come on, out with it, Jerry. Well, uh, would you let me work with him like Carmen used to? She she said she'd show me the old tricks she used to do with him, and Olsen would work with me, and I'd work hard, and I'd... <laughs> oh, I just know I'd be good, Mr. Randall, please. <laughs> well, now, now that that's off your chest, I'll tell you, Jerry, you know, uh, in Randall's brother's circus, as a rule... I, I think it's better to have a pretty girl work with the elephants. Aw, oh, gee willikers, Mr. Randall. <laughs> but in this case, I've got a good mind to give you a try. Oh, Mr. Randall. R really and truly? <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, I'll be a real circus performer. <laughs>